It is really useful to think of things in terms of what would a circular neighborhood would look like? What would a circular city look like? And there's decentralization, but then there's also something that you can do within a specific context and what would work best for that specific geography or for that specific culture. So, Yulia, I want you to use your imagination for a moment. It's going to be a bit of a stretch for you. But imagine that I, Seb, am a cool, innovator, entrepreneur, designer in the headspace. And I want to get into the circular economy. I'm like, I want to redesign a product. So there's a bot you know, imaginary bottle of shampoo here, along with an imaginary innovator. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this product that's currently probably mostly going to waste or at least not being kept at high value in the economy, I'm going to make sure that I design it so that it's reusable or maybe I'm going to make sure I design it so it's made completely of recycled inputs. Am I done? Well, okay, let's start with the first point. The, the cool innovator guy, I'm not sure how much I can help with that, but I can tell you a bit about what it would mean to redesign a product to make it reusable or recyclable. So if we think, for example, of this shampoo bottle, sure, one way to look at it is you can make it from recycled plastic and then you can keep it in the loop. It's what we call uh, keeping it in circulation. We keep it in the economy and out of the environment. But ideally what we would do, we would go upstream and we would look at how do we make do with less packaging to begin with. So then we put less on the market and there's just less to, to deal with essentially. So one way to do that is to make the packaging reusable. Um, so looking at this is then, okay, the packaging is reusable, that's great, but can it actually be used in practice? Is the infrastructure there? Where would it be refilled? Where would it be cleaned? Where are these refillable stations? Is it convenient for you to actually go and um, put in more shampoo, for example, at a shop or, or something like that? So it's all fine if the packaging is redesigned to work in a specific instance, but you do really need the system around it and the incentives to really make it work in practice and at scale. Um, and one really great example with this is Club Zero, who basically apply the reuse principle when it comes to getting coffee around London. So you can go to one coffee shop, it doesn't matter which chain, and you have your refillable coffee and you get your, I think you're a mocha guy, right? And you I'm get sure the mocha. About me and you, but let's carry on. <laughs> you get the mocha, you drink it, and then you're nowhere near that coffee shop because London is quite big, right? But what you can do is go to another coffee shop from a completely different chain, but because they're all within the system set up by Club Zero, you can just drop off the empty cup there and it will be cleaned, it will be taken forward and then someone else can use it. So it's this idea of making it as simple as possible for the, the system to work in practice and for, for reuse to work in practice um, and to make it convenient and enjoyable for those to use it as well. And all while keeping less packaging on the market, creating m much less waste to, to deal with and um, generally just taking us closer to a circular economy. And I've heard uh, the founder of Club Zero, Safia Qureshi, say that she thinks about her product both as the cup like that, but also like at a city scale, like all that infrastructure you're describing, how does that kind of work and how is that designed? And that's her kind of like big, well, her and other innovators like her's big challenge. And she compared it um, in one event I saw her speak at to EVs, electric vehicles, great innovation, but only really useful if there's an electric vehicle infrastructure that allows people to charge their cars so they can actually practically own an electric vehicle and have and, and be able to go around. Absolutely. And I think to go back, for example, to Club Zero, it is really useful to think of things in terms of what would a circular neighborhood would look like? What would a circular city look like? And there's decentralization, but then there's also something that you can do within a specific context and what would work best for that specific geography or for that specific culture. But the good news is there's plenty of solutions to, to go around and it's quite a flexible model that can be implemented based on different needs.